This question is asking primary productivity depends on all of the given factors except a plant species inhabiting a particular area. Definitely, if the plant species of an area are different, the primary productivity depends. B, a variety of environmental factors, this is also true. Photosynthetic capacity of plants, this is also true. D, various species of primary consumers. Primary consumers are herbivores. They do not decide the primary productivity. Primary productivity majorly decided by the producers. So this is not the factor which can control the primary productivity. So the correct option for the given question is D, various species of primary consumers. Let's move to the next question. This question says match the following essential elements and their functions in plants. Iron. Iron is required for chlorophyll synthesis. Chlorophyll is the green pigment present in the plants. So A matches with second. In option number 2 and 4, A is matching with fourth. So these two options are ruled out. Now magnesium. Magnesium is required to maintain the ribosome structure. So, B matches with fourth. Now, C, chlorine. Chlorine maintains the anion cation balance. So, C matches with third. And D, manganese. Manganese is required for the photolysis of water during the process of photosynthesis. So, D matches with first. By analyzing the options, we can say the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. This question says viroids have. Viroids have RNA, DNA, protein coat or proteinaceous envelope. Viroids are free RNA infectious particles. They have RNA definitely. DNA no. Protein coat around them no. Proteinaceous envelope no. So the correct option for the given question is option number A which says RNA. Let's move to the next question. This question says India has 14 biosphere reserves, whereas 90 national parks and the 448 wildlife sanctuaries. So the correct option for the given question is C, that is 14. Let's pick up the next question. This question says ovule has integuments which encircle the nucellus except at the tip where a small opening is present called. If you see the structure of ovule, you will find this opening and this opening is called the micropyle. Opposite to the micropyle, you will find the chalaza which is the base of the ovule and the stalk of the ovule is called funicle and the point by which the ovule is attached to the ovary is called the hilum which can be seen as scar on the seed coat. So the correct option for the given question is option C which is micropyle. Let's move to the next question. 